Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Hello everybody, it's Paul Neese with the Raw Life Health Show and I got a great exciting episode today. What do we do if we decide that we want to be on a vegan diet? Like everything tells us I got to be on a vegan diet, there's no way I'm going to eat animals or animal products. What do we do? When you look at this from a nutritional standpoint, uh, I won't say it's impossible, it's, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but I'm saying it's not easy and probably not practical to go on a vegan diet long term to be healthy. Now I know people that do it, uh, but it, it's very difficult and, and you have to really make sure you know what you're doing if you do so. How do we make the vegan diet successful? Well that's where the role of supplements come to play. But the real problem is there's so many synthetic supplements on the market today. There's so many other supplements on the market today that are just devitalized. They're dead. They have nothing in there. Uh, they're, they're, they're cooked. They're processed. They're, some of them have chemicals in them. You know, so we got to really be careful. There's two or three things that just about everyone's having a problem with. Not only vegan. So if you're not on a vegan diet, you want to look at this video seriously as well. Now the first one is vitamin B12. Most people have vitamin B12 deficiency. Now if you take a vitamin B12 test and you show you're okay, you also have to know that all nutrients work synergistically. So your homocysteine level, your vitamin B6, your folic acid, all of these work synergistically especially with vitamin B12. So even though most people are low in vitamin B12, if you're okay, you still might be too high in your homocysteine or too low in your folic acid or B6. So you need to make sure you're getting uh, the right nutrients and the right amount and you're absorbing them, truly absorbing them. So what do we do? What do we take? Well, you can take a supplement. I highly recommend a B12 supplement. Uh, and there's these little B12 sublingles you can put right under your tongue uh, that are wonderful. And they have other different capsules out there of B12. Some people say it doesn't work, but I know these work because I, I saw the difference in my own blood work when I started taking it. Well, there's a company out now that has these vitamins. Uh, they're raw vitamins. Finally, somebody has met the need to bring raw vitamins, not only to the raw food community, but to the world, because most of the vitamins on the market are not, they're just not live. They don't have the enzymes still intact in them, they're just, they're just devitalized and they're just dead. It's almost like a waste. It's a waste of money to buy these things. Well, now there's a raw company out, the raw vitamins. It's called the Vitamin Code. Uh, and uh, the Vitamin Code, started by Jordan Rubin, uh, has a, it's just a, the highest quality. I personally know the owner, Jordan, and I also, I've, I, I've been to their offices, and I know the integrity of the company, and, and it's right up there, and, and it has my full endorsement, and the items that they carry are just so needed. So they have a vitamin B12, the vitamin code vitamin B12. Here's another one. It's vitamin D. Now, they took the, the diligence to really study this and learn it's vitamin D3 that we really need. Uh, and this is the problem. Now, some people might say they might get it from the sun. But it's not only being in the sun. is do our body have all the other nutrients that it requires to absorb everything else that it's getting. And, and a lot of minerals and nutrients are needed to absorb that vitamin D. Uh, so a lot of people aren't getting it. But when you look at uh, vitamin D like this, not only does it give us the vitamin D, but it also just completes everything and it's used in a way where our body can absorb it uh, most easily. So this is vitamin D by the vitamin code. I'm going to hold this right up there to the screen. Uh, vitamin D by the vitamin code and uh, it's uh, and even though you know I, I include a little animal products in my diet I still you know take this because you can't get vitamin D from some animal products but I still take this uh, and it comes in this capsule and you can just open it up and sprinkle it on something or you can just swallow it uh, and it's a wonderful product and each each uh, capsule has, and, and each capsule has 2,000 IUs of vitamin D. Now, I recommend everyone get a test. Everyone get a test their vitamin D because, you know, people in the, in the north definitely need it because they're not getting enough sun on a consistent basis year-round. And in the south, it's so hot outside, people don't want to go outside year-round, so they're not getting it either. Uh, so we need vitamin D, and uh, I'm so glad that the vitamin code has come out with the vitamin D. And this is new. This just came out because the vitamin code has been around... Uh, for I believe a little over a year now, but this one just came out and it's wonderful. Uh, so this company is so great. You know, another issue is protein. You know, I'd say most meat eaters get too much protein and most, ve most vegans get too little. Uh, can we get enough on a vegan diet if we really eat the right way, if, if it's practical, possibly? Uh, can meat eaters not get too much? Yes, they can, but most of them do. 
Uh, but what do we do in the meantime? How do we draw the, the middle ground? Is there something we could do? Well, the protein powders that have been on the market have just been terrible. I contribute to protein powders in the markets, something that has contributed to my illness of inflammatory bowel disease that I once had. Uh, it's so bad, and when I was involved in the bodybuilding lifestyle, I, ate, I, I, I ingested all of those different protein powders. Uh, and, and they're really hard on the body. I do not recommend any of them. Yes, we can get protein if we eat animal products, but, but still, where do we get really good protein uh, from a raw source, uh, from a, even a vegetarian or vegan source? Because something about the vitamin called vitamins, they're all vegan. So where do we get these from a vegan source? Well, they have this, this raw protein now. It's a raw protein powder. And it comes from tons of sprouts. That, and, and it comes from... Uh, some grains, some uh, sprouted grains. Now, grains aren't the best, but when they're sprouted, they're wonderful. So this is a raw protein powder. Uh, it, it, it's beyond regular protein. It, it's, it's organic, it's raw, uh, and it's just filled. It's made with a bunch of sprouts, and, and I highly recommend it. And it's, it's, uh, each serving size is one scoop, and, and there's also vitamin D in here as well, but each serving size of one scoop you get 18 grams of, of, of raw vegan protein. So this is a wonderful pro protein powder. It's a vegan product. So if you want to be on a vegan diet, you need the protein, you know, this is the way to do it. Now there are some people on a vegan diet that say they don't need supplements. Uh, and they say supplements aren't natural. Well, neither are clothes, but you're wearing them. <laughs> you know, and neither are going in planes and cars, but you're going in them every day. We have to do things to survive in this world. And I, I definitely think this is a great thing, this raw protein powder. Uh, by uh, it's by Garden of Life, but this is uh, by vitamin. It's Vitamin Codes line by Garden of Life, and all of this stuff is on my website on RawLife.com. I put these things out there so you can get them, and I, and I I always have uh, the cheapest price on all of these things, or I'll match the cheapest price. But somebody asked, they said, do I have any financial uh, connection in terms of you know to this company that I'm promoting or any company that I promote? And there's no company that I promote their products where I personally have something to do in the company process. I just seek good products, and when I find them, I tell people about them. And this is a wonderful company that I became good friends uh, with them because I really highly uh, believe in their message. I highly believe in what they're doing. And, and if you're a raw foodist out there, let's face it, even if you're a raw vegan, I mean, Jordan Rubin has created a whole line of raw vegan products, raw vegan vitamins that no one else really has done in, in, in the standard market when you go into the whole, the stores and everything else. And uh, there are some other people that have a, a raw protein powder, uh, but no one has a raw vitamin D like this. Uh, and, and, and they also have some other things. They have, uh, by the way, this is another protein powder a good friend of mine has. Uh, it's another company. It's Raw Power. Uh, and this one, I, I've been taking this one for years. I love, my friend uh, start, uh, started this one, and uh, his name is Thor. And he's been a raw foodist for a long time. It's vegan again. Uh, they have different flavors. There's vanilla flavor. So I really enjoy this. It's a, it tastes wonderful. It tastes wonderful. And when I'm on the road, this is one of the things I bring with me as well. Uh, it's great. And this has, uh, this has in a scoop uh, 10 grams of protein. So these are wonderful. So you got two different options here. If you're looking for protein powders, here you go. Go to rawlife.com uh, and get one of these two protein powders. You know, people always ask me how to put on weight, what they should do, especially if they're working out. I just gave you two great options. And then finally, the question for now is, how do we put on weight on a raw food diet? There's a lot of people, they just lose a lot of weight when they start eating this way, so they ask what, what they could do. So we see now this thing, and I just had this actually. I've been taking this the last couple of days because I love the flavor and I love the taste. And I'm on a daylight diet and I want something that's going to keep me full for the whole day or keep me full at least to the next meal. And, and, and this is it. I mean, I took this uh, the last couple of days, and I would have this. I would blend it up in my green smoothie. I would put a, a scoop of this or two scoops of this. And I'm telling you, I I was full. I couldn't eat another bite. Uh, this thing is really filling, and it's uh, it's just wonderful. It has 33 grams of protein for every two scoops. Uh, and, it's, again, it's raw and vegan. So if that's what you want, and if you're on a raw vegan diet, this is what you need. So it's vitamin code, look it up, it's on rawlife.com. Highly suggest adding these if you're going to do the raw vegan diet. And if you want to add little animal products, you know, you might still need some of these as well. Uh, but just monitor your own blood work, see what works for you. Alright everybody, so this is Paul Neeson saying thank you for listening, have a great day, and have a great raw life.
Nature's wealth, good for your health.